Hey folks, BC7 here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Farm Sim 15. We're here on Grazy Land and probably for the last time. Oh, what have you done, Mr. Harvester? I'm just taking the last of the corn down. I have been recording the numbers, of course, so we can see what we've managed to... <laughs> yeah, you brilliant. It's just brilliant. Alright, well, we're going to have to get out of the way and let this traffic pass. Or are they at a red light? They are at a red light, aren't they? <laughs> so we could have gone. Except they're in my way. I hate you, traffic. Go away. So yeah, as I say, this is likely our last visit to Grazy Land once I have this cornfield cut. I think we are going to move on to another map. We have played, in fact, here... Um, between the two restarts and then the uh, change over to the soil mod, we put almost 40 ep oh come on, almost 40 episodes into uh, this particular map, which is a lot more than we've done for a few. Now we were going to stop, of course, after the one point. There. Oh no, oh, come off it! <laughs> after that one point, and. Uh, move on to another map and then of course they introduced the soil mod and it happened to be this was the only map that was doing it so we jumped on that yeah and we've done a bunch more episodes so there you go i think it is pretty much time to retire grazy land so final thoughts on it while we sort of wheel about here and do our last chore an excellent map but i would advise to think about it for multiplayer more than for single player if you're going to do the soil mod uh, you might also want to be fond of the whole forestry thing because the biggest downfall of this map there's only a couple of gripes I have with it in total the largest being the fact that the trees around every single field with so many of them and so much collision means pretty much no matter what you're using you're gonna end up with issues um, even if you use course play if this guy is anywhere near an edge and he sticks that pipe out you're hooped because there's trees around all four sides and they're only three feet from the edge of the field so yeah even that blade his header right now would be too far over if that was the edge of the field he'd hit a tree so <laughs> Yeah, that, the amount of trees on the farm, pretty much just everywhere, a little too much tree for me. Uh, other than that, I love the layout. The whole scales thing, that's super cool. I really like that. I hope that gets into a lot more maps. However, it's also one of the points that I kind of have a little bit of a beef with, and that's that you need or it would be nice to have, I'm sorry, you don't need it. It would be awful nice if all of them were built like the one up by our grain storage where you have the gated section and you have a non-gated section. That way when I'm taking things through there that I don't really care about them being weighed, I don't have to do the whole double gate thing and stay on my toes to make sure that it's not weighing things I don't want it to weigh. like. You know, if you're going through there and you're pulling a slurry tank, it'll weigh your slurry. Well, that's not a crop. I want it for my total of crops. But like I said, that is such a little thing. Um, and compared to how much I actually like that whole scale script, it's nothing at all. <laughs> you know? So, and beyond that, that's really... Really my only gripes with the map. One of the reasons I think multiplayer would do well is simply the division between your main farm and the animal farm. Whenever you get that much of a distance, and granted it's a lot smaller here than some maps I've seen, but whenever you do get any sort of a real distance between them, um, it tends to make things a little tougher. And you'll notice that my animal hud is completely hidden right now. I'm just too ashamed to show you that our cows are out of everything. Um, our sheep are down to a few shreds of grass. Now, it's a good thing they just go out and eat field grass anyway, so I don't really see the difference. But I guess basically what I'm telling you is our mismanagement at this point of the animals means their production is sitting at pretty much like zero. 
And that's because this field took nine operations to achieve, well, whatever it is we're going to end up achieving when all the numbers are in. Nine operations, most of them taking between 45 minutes and an hour real time to perform. So even after clearing the trees away so that I can do things like hire a worker to do all of my harvesting here, and obviously simplifying it, it does still take that physical amount of time. So that nine hours that it took us to tend just a single field was time lost from not only doing other fields, obviously, but also from getting our animals dealt with. Um, <clears throat> now, I could have done this at a much more casual pace. Every time we finished um, <laughs> one adjustment or another, I would advance the day. And of course, that's why we ran out of all of our feed and our supplements so quickly. Right. Um, you know, obviously, if I let things just go at their own accord and, you know, finish a stage, then go feed the animals, and then, you know, when every other chore I needed done was done, then advance a day. That certainly works too, but it would have taken us, you know, well, uh, I don't know, <laughs> 50 episodes to uh, get one field through the soil mod process. So, I suppose this was just a, you know, a way of getting there in a little shorter period of time. But as I said, there's no way we can manage the animals and do the soil mod portion of the same. So, there you go. Other than that, it's an awesome map. Uh, big thanks to the mod author, because uh, it's great. You know, a little overzealous with the trees. <laughs> I just gotta point that out one more time, because... Uh, I don't mind the forestry. If I'd have had to clear all of these trees with the chainsaw and then the boom crane and haul it in a trailer and yeah, I'd have given up on the map. I'll be completely honest with you. The the only thing that was saving grace was that little Brux unit that instantly vaporizes entire trees into chips. Yeah. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to stand it. This is our fourth forty five hundred liter trailer, or 45,000, sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, 45,000 liter trailer. So we're now at 180,000 liters. Now, I have all the numbers written down from last time to this time, uh, the whole bit, so, but I can tell you one thing right at this point, before we're even done, we're only about mm, a fifth of a trailer shy of what we made last harvest. I kid you not. Without looking at the numbers, I'm pretty sure it was 188 and change. Alrighty. See, this I like. This is cool. And, boom. We have 1,503 ton of crops. That's cool. I really like that particular mod. Uh, the only thing I'm not fond of with it is the fact that it shares the same uh, key, which doesn't matter, you can go into bindings and change it, I just haven't bothered. But it actually shares the same key as the uh, animal hut. <laughs> so there you go. I mean, it, it's commonly used, right? So not a big surprise, but there you are. And it would be, yes, very simple for me to simply go into the options and rebind the key to something else. I just haven't bothered. Because usually I leave the animal hut on. I just turned it off because, like I said, all those zeros was just so depressing. So here we are. This is 180,000 liters now with this particular trailer. And we have, I'm thinking, at least one, possibly two trailers left. But definitely more than one full trailer. So we have far surpassed what we did the last time. So, just as uh, the mod author Dexter told us, we are not dealing with a sub-100% issue when you're doing the soil mod. You're in fact capable of adding another 50% harvest on top of what is already a 150% harvest that Giants provides through simply planting and then fertilizing. So, all in all, really cool. Um, I guess I should do final thoughts on the soil mod too, as that's the reason we did all these extra 
sort of episodes on this map. And what do I think of it? Well, if I was on Old Family Farm, I'd do the heck out of this mod. Seriously. Um, for farms with larger fields, again, multiplayer would just rock this. Uh, single player, boy, it's a lot. Now, maybe if you weren't running a YouTube channel on it as well, so that, you know, you didn't, you know, or if this was one of the very few games you played, but I'm in neither of those boats, then maybe, you'd, you know, you just simply keep going over this and putting nine hours of work into each field to get a harvest wouldn't be that big a deal. And talk about a reality check. <laughs> you know, yeah, there's no more of this planted in the morning, fast forward time to the next morning, harvest it, you know, and make a hundred thousand a day on your crops. It's definitely added that level of realism. The mechanics of it, well, again, kudos to Dexter for being as close as he was, considering, and he did admit this, I'm not saying it just, you know, to say it, he did admit it, he doesn't really have a background or that much knowledge um, of soil management. And from what he has produced, starting there, wow, you know, seriously, like, wow, amazing job, buddy. And with a little fine tuning, and I'm thinking, and if you do still watch this series, I mean, by now I got a feeling he's totally fed up with me because I harped a lot about how the mod worked. But if he is still watching, you know, dude, probably the one thing I do to get more people really happy about using this mod is I would reduce, how would you put this, the severity, you know? I realize over an entire season, which is what a normal crop would take, right? You'd plant at the beginning, you know, in the spring, harvest it in the fall, blah, blah, blah. So I, I can see that over an entire season, the changes you're showing might take place. But because we're using, even with the soil mod, where it takes us six days to harvest, six days does not, you know, four to six months make. And so I think the mod should be reduced by that same thing, i.e., we should lose like one point of moisture, one point of nitrogen, maybe one point of PK on a single harvest. And our pH should only go off enough that we would need to adjust that particular aspect maybe every two or three harvests as well. Do you know what I mean? So that those nine operations could be spread over three harvests, then you'd only be adding three, three different operations to each of your normal ones, right? You could do your cultivate, your plant, your harvest, and then three more operations to ensure you got good numbers. That would be a lot more desirable, I think, than, you know, your normal cultivate, plant, harvest, and nine more operations. Because I've got 20-something fields here. If I actually owned all of them and had to do that, one person couldn't do it. It just would not be possible. So, there you go. That's sort of what I think of Grazy Land with and without the soil mod. Um, so yeah, brilliant map. And especially if you guys are looking for something to play multiplayer that has just a ton of features, a lot of which we haven't even dealt with. You know, we filled up a silo down at the um, biogas refinery, but there's more things to do there. We haven't done anything with the compost mod. Um, all the other things included on here, I mean, God help our fattened chickens, you know, they're probably just feathers and drumsticks and other various bones running around the back of that barn. But, again, we didn't get to do much with it. You know, I can only imagine if I'd have actually successfully added the apple mod and the warehouse mod and the factory mods and, you know, start running that stuff and it would just be a matter of, all right, everything has just gone bust because, you know, we've gone broke and all of our animals have run away to go live with people that love them and uh, <laughs> so much for being a farmer, so there you go. But yeah, where are we going next? Well... I'm thinking just simply to get sort of back to the whole root of things, I might just do the Manchester map. It is based on, you know, a, a farm or at least a farming area right here in the province in BC, Canada that I live in. So I think that.
probably in itself. Now I'm going to have to be a little careful what's going on with this harvester. <clears throat> I'm not sure how far he's going to go over, if he's going to end up hitting trees or what, but we'll see here. Oh, 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 looks not bad. Ooh. Cut back in, cut back in, cut back. Oh, darn it. Not going to happen. Ah, I'm coming. Hoo ya. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. You know, even there, I was thinking, oh, right on, the pipe's on the right side, he won't have an issue. No, it just happened, the row ended where he was just a little too far over, and that's all it takes. So, but we are almost there, guys. And, uh... I guess I was wrong, eh? We're not going to get more than a trailer. But what have we got in here so far? Ah. Well, we have beaten up what we got last time. We're not going to get 50% more, but then we did have the mod running the last time, and we did get, you know, what we got for that. And I figured last time we got about 90%. That was based on getting only 100. So, if it goes up to 200, then I guess we got 190. But I think this time, I think we scored her right on the money. And we'll know right quickery here. As soon as he reaches the end of this row. We're almost there. I'm almost done boring you to tears. See, he's still creeping just dangerously close to those trees. I mean, some of them are so close to the edge of the field. I think we're gonna make her and I think we're gonna have just enough room in our trailer to finish this field off, which is nice so Almost their results are coming in Click on my ooh, extra light so that I can read my notes from the last time What I'll do is get that ready by just simply parking him at the end. There we go. That should do it. Alright, let's just wait there. Now, let's see here. What did we do and where were we? Okay, according to our paperwork, do, 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 the last time around we harvested our corn, our number sat at a 29 for moisture, a 6 for nitrogen, and a 2 for PK. This time around our number sat at 42 for moisture, uh, 5 for nitrogen, and 3 for PK. And he has... Why did he not dump the corn? Yoo-hoo. Are, are you serious? He just grabbed his lunchbox and went home. Dude, you forgot to dump the corn. Wow, man. Look, just... No, nope, I'm at the end of the field. I'm out of here. Oh, I'll tell you. I mean, I did tell him there was going to be a lot of work prep in the next farm, so maybe that's what he's doing. Who knows? But could have at least, you know, <laughs> done that a little bit for us, man. All right, well, I'll finish putting your machine away. There we go. Alrighty, so let's see what the final numbers were. So we got 180, uh, so 210, 215, 215,683 liters. The last time we got 188,000. So not bad. We did, uh, well, that's not that much. So we made what? All in all, another 20,000, 25,000 liters. Wow. <laughs> so last time around, our moisture was off by a ton. Our 
nitrogen was off and our PK was off. This time just the PK was off a tiny bit. Um, well, so was the nitrogen actually, but only by one. Last time it was off by two. This time the PK was off by one. Last time it was off by two. So I'm thinking probably about a 5% increase. Um, but wow. This time we also could keep in mind this time we went from we also added all the slurry. So this was with the organic fertilizer. The first time around it was the other. So there we go guys. That's um, that's kind of been our look at Grazy Land. And I think that's been our look at the soil mod. Because I do not believe the map we are going to does have it. So the last number I want to throw at you guys is going to be our final harvested tonnage. Now again, this was only crops. I did not count straw. I did not count wood chips. Or did I? No, I didn't actually. Or did I? I might have. Because it is sort of a crop. But uh, yeah, none of the... and nothing like that. So we basically it was just, you know, wheat, corn, barley, that sort of thing. And let's find out what our final total is. Wow, 10k short of hitting the top of this trailer. Right? Whoa, whoa! Boom. Well, sure, why not? Once more, let's just get out of control. Crash into a tree, just our way of saying goodbye to Greasy Land. <laughs> Oh man. So here we go onto the scale for the last time. Just over 1500 ton becomes dun, 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 dun. 1,532. 0.8. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's going to do her. Next time around, expect a whole new ball game. So. If you like the series, please hit the like button. It does me a world of good. Feel free to favorite, share, all of that happiness. Enough of my begging, I know. So, till next time, this has been Species 7 saying farewell from Grazy Land. We will see you again in Farm Sim 15 in another country. Till then, take care of each other, folks. Ciao for now.